Hi everyone, this is Jason, and I got a new monitor here. It's um, Dell 24 Monitor S2415H. Um, what I was doing is I just went to Best Buy, and I was looking for a monitor that I could use at home and at work. Uh, this is a pretty good monitor. It um, has resolution of, I saw this somewhere, where'd it go? 19... I don't see it in this box actually. <laughs> um, it's like 1920 by 1800 or something like that, so pretty good resolution. And it was quite affordable, so only $160 at my best buy. And a good, decent monitor to use with HDMI inputs. Um, so let me just take a second, show you what it's like with the box opening here, and show you how you can use it on your laptop to get multiple monitors, which is a really big help uh, for me when I'm working. So you open the box here and it comes with some extra cables and CDs. It has a base to use for the monitor. with a real easy screw on there, but that's your base. There's the monitor here. Some more cardboard stuffing and padding. This is your like standoff arm for your monitor. We can assemble that. That just goes under here. You screw this and I like that this screw has kind of a, a handle on it so you can just screw it right in. And you're going to see how um, this is the standard base for this. You can also get another base where that monitor will move up and down if you need that feature. Okay, one of the reasons I like this monitor, nice and big screw, uh, viewing screen, really small outside edges, so you can put it right next to your other monitor to see really well, and it's super lightweight, so if it's something you have to move around a lot, this is very light. Okay, so it snaps right back here, you just put the top edges into that, and the bottom will snap right down, and then really the only two, um, there's three cables on here, well actually four. You have an audio input, you've got a VGA, you've got an HMI, and you've got a power cord. So for my needs, I'm going to just be using HDMI cable. I'll go ahead and plug that into the monitor. And if you notice, the monitor had a nice had a nice stand with a hole in the back and that hole is great because you can put your cables right through it. I kind of like to do that to keep everything more organized. What else comes with this monitor? This is a case to cover up your cables. Here is the power supply. It comes with a VGA cable which is nice. I'm sorry, HDMI cable which is nice because uh, inevitably when you get a monitor like this you always need an extra cable. Um, it does not come with a VGA cable. That technology is starting to be replaced by USB. I'm sorry, um, HDMI. So that's not something that it has. I'm just going to quickly plug the monitor here into the power cord. throw it around into my power supply here in the back and we can see and show you how this works. Okay, so we're all powered, plugged in now. Um, 
So my setup here is I use an Apple MacBook Pro. It's a 13 inch. The reason I stick with this laptop is it still has CD drive and USB ports and some of the newer ones just don't have that stuff anymore. So this is the one I like a little bit better. And I like it that I can fit the monitor right next to my screen here and change this height so it lines up pretty well. So you've got a power button down here for your monitor. And the HDMI cable that I have coming out of the monitor plugs right into this little adapter. Now these adapters aren't really sold by um, Apple. You have to get an aftermarket product for this that changes HDMI into this mini, uh, mini video port, which plugs right into Thunderbolt if you've got Thunderbolt on your computer. So as soon as I do that, now you can see the new monitor comes up and it gives me a lot more uh, viewing area here. So I'm just going to log into the computer. And now that I have that up, you can see that whatever I do over here is also reflected on this monitor, which would be great for training or showing. But what I'm going to do is just go to display settings and I've got a little display setting up here in the taskbar, I say open up my display preferences. Under the display preferences, I choose to not mirror devices. So I have to find arrangement, say mirror displays, turn that off. Now as soon as I turn that off, and it will remember these settings, um, so that makes it nice. And then here you can adjust the arrangement. So I like to pull this over and see if it makes like graphical sense like if the bottom of these two monitors are aligned on here I'm going to align the bottom of the two monitors and that way when I pull a window from side to side it's lined up basically how it's physically lined up and that saves you a lot of trouble <clears throat> in the long run. Um, you can also choose different display resolutions for this monitor uh, 1080 progressive here seems to be the closest to my laptop's display. But now you can see I've doubled the size of my workspace. Uh, every day when I come home I really only have two cables now, a power cable and my mini HDMI Thunderbolt port and I'm ready to go and go to work. So hopefully this helps. Again if you're looking for a monitor this is the Dell uh, S2415H and I got it at Best Buy about $160.